Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Jonathan. In this video, I will walk you through setting up your own lab to perform open source intelligence. If you want an introduction to what open source intelligence is and where you can gather open source data from, I invite you to watch two other videos on our channel. You will find the link to those videos in the description box below. The first step is to set up the device required for OS in activities. I encourage using virtual machines for all the data gathering and data analysis activities. You can utilize hypervisors like VirtualBox or VMware to set up Windows virtual machines. When an OS in professional gathers data about a target, the target is not aware about it. A VM will help in hiding your real identity. In some cases, you may need to utilize a mobile phone to test or work with specific applications. You can either invest in cheap mobile phones or set up virtual mobile devices. For example, you can create a virtual Android device in minutes using tools like Android Studio and Genomotion. Collection of open source data must be done anonymously, regardless of whether you plan to interact with the target or not. For this reason, you can set up a virtual private network or VPN on your OS in device. A VPN can hide your original IP address. There are numerous free and paid VPN providers that you can utilize for this purpose. A VPN is especially useful when you intend to visit the deep web during your investigation. Next, let's talk about using anonymous accounts for OSINT. I am sure you will have accounts on social media applications like Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. I would recommend not using your personal accounts when you are investigating a target. Create accounts across various social media applications that cannot be linked back to you. Use different names and handles across all the applications. You may even need to set up a separate email address for OS in activities. You can use this address while registering accounts on social media platforms. Finally, let's talk about the software tools required for OSN. For each data source, for example an image, there are numerous websites that can extract information about the image, sites that can perform reverse image searches, and even websites that can extract metadata from the image. For every data source, I encourage you to identify at least two to three websites that you can utilize to identify and analyze that data. Here is another example. The Shodan search engine helps you identify all the devices connected to the internet. You can also download specific applications to assist in analyzing data. For example, the Google Earth desktop application can provide you with historical information about a particular region. Maltego is an application that can help with visualizing and analyzing open source data. I hope you have a good idea now about the tools required to set up your own open source intelligence lab. I encourage you to set up these tools on your computer. If you like this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon.